Welcome back to day three of 25 games of Christmas. I know what you're thinking. You think, Brian, you gotta knock out some of these tent pole games. And this one I'm going to do kind of early, but the problem is this one's not easily available right now. That's right, you know what I'm talking about. Terraforming Mars. This is a game you're gonna wanna try because it's absolutely incredible. The problem is it's really hard to find right now. My wife loves this game. It's a two to three hour game, which is not usual for her to love. Her favorite game will come up later in the month uh, in the 25 games of Christmas thing, but uh, she loves this game. It's very simple. It's a card drafting game. Uh, not a card drafting game. It's a card drawing game. A card playing game. It's a card driven game. Imagine, um, I don't know, something like Steam like I talked about before and other resource management games meets Twilight Struggle. That's kind of what it's like. You, you have your cards and you play cards out of your hand that do different things. You can play them for uh, not, not necessarily so much like the points value and stuff like that. Of, uh, Twilight Struggle, but you can play them for what they do. You can use them, uh, you can use your resources to get discounts on them. Uh, they do just really great things. You, the little things up on the top, the uh, the tags they call them, do different things. The other cards key off those tags. It's a great game. You're laying tiles out, you're changing Mars from Mars-like to Earth-like where people can live there. Terraforming Mars is not easy to find right now, but if you can get your hands on this game, you will love it. If you're a Euro gamer, you'll love it. If you're an Amerithrash gamer, I think you'll still like it just because there's that randomness of cards and you get to control your own deck. Plus, there's variable player powers and how they do that is each corporation starts with a different skill set and a different amount of um, resources. So you might be a miner and steel is better for you. You might be, uh, uh, for me, the one I played recently was, and you can check out the review right here, was uh, about the ecosystem. So my plant stuff was better. And it's, it's a little bit of a deep game. There's a lot to it. There's a lot of moving parts, but I definitely recommend for day three, you check out Terraforming Mars on 25 Games of Christmas. Remember, if you're not following us, please click subscribe as well as follow us on Twitter. You'll see the tag in a minute at the end of the video, but make sure you do that and pass this along 25 Games of Christmas. Definitely want to keep this going and want to make sure we get all these great games talked about and that you can get them. Hopefully, you'll be able to pick this up. Love it. So here's the tag at the end of the video. You're saying, Brian, I've already finished the review. No, 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 this is the end of the video. This is the part where I tell you about my channel and Twitter. I'd love for you to follow us on Twitter at The Latest Retro. See, I did that with my hands, assuming there's gonna be a Twitter bar right here. The Latest Retro on Twitter. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Twitter and Instagram, YouTube, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't think I have an Instagram set up yet, but follow us on Twitter at The Latest Retro. Also, follow us on here. If you're just watching this video and you're not subscribed, please click subscribe. We'd love to have you on this channel watching and following the videos. We try to make these videos fun, try to make them funny. This one's gonna be a little bit more straightforward, no silly intros or anything like that, but enjoy and follow and subscribe 25 Day Games of Christmas.